the year. An outstanding freshman campaign for Wisenhunt. And as I mentioned earlier, young talent stepping up on this stage. 90 to 95 with this fastball. And I love the 80s cartoon reference when we talk with Coach <laughs> Bugs Bunny changeup. They're going to swing the bats and try to impose their will offensively. Brown lays down a really nice punt down the first baseline. And just like that, the leadoff man gets on. Right back up the middle and a base hit for Womack. Ball gets away from center field of Worrell initially. And Brown is going to make his way to third. So a mistake out in center field. First and third for the Spartans with nobody out to start this game. Put the ball, put the ball in play, put pressure on defenses. This could be two. Over to second for one. Hosley beats it out, but he's going to drive in a run. And Norfolk State takes the early lead here in the top of the first. Risen Hunt deals and gets Velasquez looking. Throw down to second, irrelevant to end this top half of the first inning. But the Spartans did what they had to do. Pitching staff for Norfolk State are a bunch of arms that are used to going deep in the lineup. And he's unafraid. He's a strike thrower, going to pound the zone. And when you pound the zone and you don't have the overpowering stuff, you got to lean on your eight, your seven. Leading the nation in hits, seventh in batting average. Sends this one to right field. That's going to be at least one. Cut off by Ty Hanshi. And he'll hold Norby to a leadoff single. Or a hit and run situation. Deloach gets him swinging. So while talented, if not the most talented freshman I've ever been around. To second base. Womack goes over to cut it off. Can he throw him out? Throw gets away from Velasquez. That'll bring Norby home. And then the throw gets away from third base. Here comes Worrell. He'll score. Spartans throwing it around the yard a bit here. And the Pirates take advantage. Get a couple of runs to take the lead. Off the end of the bat. Little number to first base. Velasquez will take it himself. First thing. Council in the right field. So a nice job of hitting with two strikes. Carolina team, you're going to fall. Oh. Tried it again with two strikes. Ultra aggressive. Collins fouls yes. it off. And there are two outs. Getting into it. Two and two to Rodriguez. Gets him swinging and a fist pump from both Wisenhunt and Cotto. Not at this at bat, though. Four straight balls to Giles, first and second with one out at the top of this order. And Connor Norby, who wrote the single to right field in his first at bat, coming up. And out there and coaching third base. That's kind of old school. Did it hit him? It did. Henrik says it got just a piece of Francisco. And Agnos pops it up. This could be trouble, though. In right field, Womack collides with Hanshi, but Hanshi hangs on. That can come in and do the kind of work he's done on the pitcher's mound. Another fly ball. This one out to right field, and Lane Hoover calls off Moylan. Even though that was a quality swing by Moylan, it seemed like fastball got past him. Moylan sends it the other way. Another high fly ball, and this one's just going to fall. Moylan will stay at first. How many of those have we seen already through three innings? Two and two to Starling. Great pitch. Gets him looking. High in the air. Womack in the shallow right field. Makes the play. Behind in the count. 3-0. And she sends this one up the middle for a base hit. Runner going. And man, hitting him where they ain't has been the topic du jour in this game. Sends it to left field over the third baseman's head. One run will score. First and third again. And Norfolk State has even this one up at two apiece. One two pitch to Sims. Got him. And a throw over to second base. 
And they've got Council in a rundown. Council gets tagged out. Now they'll come home. Velasquez scored. So the rundown by Council preoccupied the Pirates long enough for Velasquez, who has deceptive speed to score from third. Maybe a mindset of getting Deloach's pitch count up. Rodriguez over to first, retires Connor Norby. Runner goes, throw to second base, nailed. Womack caught stealing. Cadell with the seed. Drives this one to left center field. This one's going back. It's going to be over Sims' head, off the top of the wall. Francisco scores. Strike three. Right off of the shortstop's head. Right over the first baseman's head. Into right field. And it'll be first and third. 0-2 oh, to Council. Off speed gets him. Just completely fooled him in that at bat. Now we get a timeout. And they're going to call a balk. Now we'll have to see this one in replay because it looked like Hanchi was trying to steal home. And then over to third goes Velasquez. Take another look. You have two options. You can bring the pitch home or step back and throw it to get the runner at home. You know what? This is what we do. <laughs> this is how we are successful. As the top hits, both the top six rather, and hits in the NCAA, and Norby goes, steals second easily. To right field, and well hit. To the wall, it's gone! You can see the curveball right over the heart of the plate on the inside part, belt high, and belted out to right field, Francisco. In on the hands of right-handed batters with that fastball. Agnos, though, puts a charge into this one to center field. To the wall and off it. Sims is going to come and cut it off, and Agnos is going to find his way to third base with a triple. Out six walks. That gets away from Collins. And Agnos is going to score from third. Nice curveball by Manzer. Again, the 0 2. Routine play to second, although Brown can move. Norby throws him out. 1 2 3 inning for Norfolk State here in the top half of the seventh. Gets him looking, too. Had him off balance on that entire at bat. And she sends this one to right field. Hoover over to cut it off. And she will go for second and slides in with a double. A severe shift against Velasquez. Colmore gets Velasquez swinging. Fouls up to hit here in the bottom half of the eighth. And he gets plunked right away, so the leadoff man on board for ECU. Guys come back for their sixth year. Gets Norby swinging. Nice pitch. Yeah, we get the scouting reports for the regionals, and we get to see it's a perfectly placed bunt down. And it forces a defensive line. play, which is an error, and it's going to score a run. They have goals for this year, as you mentioned, but over the next two years, it's going to be fun. It's a straightaway center field, and a nice play by Brown. Well, he might be getting used to this ballpark. He operates from the stretch. Gets him looking on the outside. Chopper to short. Going to be a tough play. Can't be made. Norby does a nice job of backing up, but it'll be first and third as Hong gets on with a base hit. And Brown does just that. They're loaded.
to center field. This one's going to get down for a base hit. One run will score. To left field. Long run. McRavich is going to make the catch to end game one at ECU. It was interesting in the ninth inning. Norfolk State didn't go quietly.